It's all about the manuals, manuals. Hey guys, welcome back to RTFM. This time I'm real excited to actually talk about manuals. Like, lots of manuals, not just one manual. Like, lots of manuals. So I've got various Atari and Nintendo games here and their cartridges. And I'm gonna go over them really quickly in this episode uh, and their manuals to kind of show the differences. And I thought this would be kind of a cool special to do at the end of the year and to show my appreciation for you watching. I know you weren't expecting this. I wasn't expecting it either. Um, <laughs> I, like most things I do. I also have Lunar Pool from Nintendo. I'm gonna show you what that box art looks like. I've also got Game Boy Advance, Monster Truck Mayhem, Real Sports Baseball, 2600, Atari Jaguar, Atari Karts, um, even on, te and, and television games. So I'm gonna go over some of these with you guys. There's like one, two, four, there's like 15 or 20 games here. So I'm gonna go over them really quickly. So happy holidays, welcome to RTFM. Let's get started. Welcome back guys. So as I said this episode I'm going to be going over some box art and mass over a lot of the systems I love to collect for. I didn't grab a Vectrex game in the box and I'll have to shoot that separately and add it because I have to add that. I was just up there and just grabbed some random stuff so very impromptu right. So um, let's get started. <clears throat> so one of the, I'm, I'm just going to go in a random order okay. I'm not gonna try to classify them by date because um, it, it would take me too long. So the first one I grabbed was uh, Dark Chambers for the Atari 7800. Um, this game has been on the, it's been on several flashback consoles um, lately. It's also on the Atari VCS. You can purchase it there as well. And it was a um, game on the 7800 that, um, <clears throat> Came out in 88, <clears throat> excuse me, and deeply inspired uh, by many other games in the past. Um, I think maybe Handy, I'm trying to remember. There's a there's a bunch of fan debate about that, but anyway, um, on its own, this is a fantastic game, taking even any gauntlet um, away from it, right? Um... So I think all these games are kind of inspired by Gauntlet, which was inspired by Step Before. So, but anyway, you can't deny it stands really great on its own. Look at that. Um, it's just amazing. Um, I love that box art. Um, they were really going out there, you know, at this time. It says the Atari Advantage. Collect games, win prizes, see details inside. <laughs>
In the back, I'm going to read this to you. It says, uh, Dark Chambers, Master of the Subterranean Kingdom. You are the only one brave enough to enter the castle's dark chambers. Once inside the foreboding castle, a dark staircase leads you down to the murky depths of the labyrinths below. Go alone or find safety in numbers with your faithful companion. Throw daggers at a threatening band of humanoids. Living skeletons, ghosts, evil wizards, and grim reapers. Stand back to back with your partner to fight them off. Then descend further beneath the earth's surface. Collect magic potions and treasure chests as you encounter them in the tangle of rooms and corridors. Use keys found on the path to open doors. Take food and drink along the way to keep up your strength. Danger lurks everywhere in the underground maze. You must conquer the evil guardians to make yourself master of the subterranean domain. It's got three skill levels for one or two players for use with Atari 7800 controllers. For Atari 7800 series systems for use with North American and NTSC television sets only. Now, I'm not going to read all these boxes. I just wanted to read. I'm going to read a couple of them, sure. Um, but this is a really cool game I love. So just really quickly, I'm not going to read the whole manual to you this time, guys. Or the back of all these boxes, so stick with me. Uh, so when you open this up, you have the Atari Corp uh, limited 90 day warranty. These came in all of these boxes back then. The Atari service center in Sunnyvale, California. I love these things. So the manual is very dark and foreboding. I may have shown this on RTFM before. I'm not sure, but I just love it. Um, you're on a dangerous treasure hunt deep in the underground world of dark chambers. I'm not going to read it all to you, but I just wanted to show you kind of what it looks like. And I'm going to do this for a lot of them. Because I don't have a lot of time to read everything. And I'm losing people by the second as it is when I do that. So, you know, whatever. And when you go down in here, you actually have the Atari Advantage uh, hand uh, fold-out thing. And this is really neat. I really like... I've never unfolded this before. This is the first time. So count, count yourselves lucky. Look at that poster. I need to put that on a wall. That's amazing. I think I'm going to. I didn't know how huge this was. Look at that. That's so awesome. Even a Mario in there. Wow. That's neat. What do you think, guys? So anyway, this shows some of the 7800 games coming out. Um, it's the collector poster, it says. <laughs> With more to come. Win a trip to California. Get the Atari Advantage. Collect games, win prizes. Trip to California. Atari systems, peripherals, Atari game cartridges, and Atari t-shirts. Wow. 7800, the system is the choice of the experts. <laughs> That's awesome. 89. Wow. Crazy. That's a really cool thing to have. I need to honestly hang that somewhere. Like, get it mounted and hang it. But I don't have no time. I'm too lazy right now. I'll put it back in the box. So I do have this game. It's just down here. I, I'd give it to you. I'd show it to you, but... I don't want to be walking around a lot. So let's move on. So another one I got was Space Shuttle. Um, this is on the 2600, the Atari 2600. As it says here, a journey into space. Now, Ferg talked about this on his podcast recently. I'm not going to read the whole box to you. I'll just read the bold part. In America, we have a word for this kind of thing. <laughs> Ingenuity. This came out in 83. So I get a lot of these on eBay. Um, so like CIB. Here's what this cart looks like. It's blue. 
looks really kind of cool. Um, and when you look at the manual really quickly, you will see the flight manual. And this thing is hefty. Um, this has got kind of must on it. It's old, um, definitely. <laughs> but it just kind of goes into de detail on how to land and equipment check and just all kinds of stuff. There's actually a whole other book from um, NASA about the space shuttles and to help you play this game. This is actually, it can, it can be a hard game, but you're basically flying a space shuttle. Um, and I did a review on Ferg's podcast of it, gave it an A. It's such a great educational title. Let me know what you think. And I'm going to keep on going because I got a lot I want to show you. So we'll put that back later. So, okay. Um, next, I got kicks for the Atari 5200. Um, and I think I got this locally at Noble Gaming or something. Uh, and this is one of my favorite games as a kid. I have stories of me being arcades playing this game when I was like six or seven at a Safeway in Bedford, Texas. And the machine was just vibrating like wah, 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 wah. <laughs> and I was having such a good time. But this is such a fantastic game. I love it. If you're a puzzler, you'll like it. So when you open this up, it's got the cartridge here. As you see, now I, I put labels on mine. I, I get like a, um, you know, a labeler and put my own labels on these because like N64 titles, these don't have any end names on them. So here's the place for the overlay on the back. I do have it somewhere. I just couldn't grab everything. I think I put them separately for some reason. So it says here, Kix creates a new dimension in arcade type fun. Experience geometric challenge and creative strategy. Branch out and claim your territory before the Kix traps you. Watch out for those feisty sparks patrolling the border territory. Extend your sticks and outsmart this erratic electronic lightning bolt. 82. For the Atari 5200. So here's this. Well, this is a 5200 advanced game system manual. How neat. Um, so I don't think I've shown this on the channel before. I love the silvery pages. Make it kind of hard to see, but this is such a cool manual. Talks about enter a new era in home entertainment. Um, I just love it. They they put so much money into these back then before they lost everything. They they never made manuals like this ever again. I mean these are it, they were only big like this for the fifty two hundred guys. Um, the seven eight hundred had a little bit, but it was mostly red and black ink and looked really weird and tacky. But um, back in the day, man, they made some great manuals and inserts for these games. They don't do that anymore. So here's the manual for Kicks. Like I said, one of my favorite games from my childhood. Especially the arcade game. Stack the sticks. I love that. I'm not going to read the story to you just because I don't have a lot of time, but uh, it just kind of goes into the game, the controller, how to put the overlay on, which you put over the keypad for it. Um, it's just such a good game. They never made manuals like this ever again. And the cool thing about this is that um, they would put a story behind it. Like on this one, it's talking about who is Kix and what are his powers? How can he take land that is not his? Where does Kix come from? Most important, how can he be stopped? I mean, it's just, there's a whole story there about it. They don't do this shit anymore. You know, they really don't. It's a, it's a shame. If they do, it's not. Oh, the overlays are down here in the bottom. Oh, cool. I can show you one. Here's an overlay for Kix. Very basic, as you see. It really does nothing. <laughs> um, they would make games like that with just almost almost nothing. This one has a, a limited warranty as well. So kind of shoved down in there. And so yeah, I just wanted to show you that. So another one I want to show you, um, I'm going to do these really quickly, is Missile Command for the Atari 2600. My favorite cover art ever. I love this cover art. It's an amazing game. Me and my sister played this for hours. This came out in 1980. There's no story on the back. On the 5200 version, there is. It's a lot different. But this is how I remember it. 
I can't tell you how many times I saw this wedged in a couch or, you know, in my toy box just thrown somewhere and seeing that cover image. It always kind of spooked me out, but in a good way. You know, this is kind of faded right here, but uh, it's just great. You have to see my interview with Tim Lapatino to really appreciate that. So, the manual. Now, we never had these things around too long. Look at that art. I love this art for Missile Command. I think the guy that did it was Oppenheimer, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, your commanding orders. I mean, they just don't make... Now, this is almost like a 5200 era manual. They went all out because this game sold so many copies. So, they spruced it up, you know, I think. Um, I mean, it's just full color. It's amazing. Helpful hints. 1980. I think this game sold the most of any Missile Command. I think it did. Uh, and they included it on the XCGS, actually, which was meant to compete with the 2600, which I have over here. But that's so hard to believe, isn't it? Anyway, Missile Command, you guys, such a classic game. I love it. So, okay, we got one more of these. Uh, for the 5200 Defender, another classic game I have lots of memories of. Um, this is just such a classic game, you know, it, it's amazing. Um, look at that cover art. I love that. Um, 1982. Defend planet Earth against the aliens. Don't let alien landers kidnap the humanoids and turn them into destructive mutants. Very basic. But this is how I remember the boxes when I grew up. They, 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 they were these basic Atari... 2600 boxes. Now this has a KB Toy Store label on it for $27.99 and a line through it that says $1.99. Talk about the crash right before our eyes. Um, that's crazy. That's marked down, I mean almost down to nothing. $28 to like $2 basically. Crazy. So anyway, this has the special feature with the bear in the corner. Did you see? Uh, this game program contains additional versions for young children. So Defender is one of my favorite games too. Now, I I get these CIB on eBay. They're not always complete. Like this is missing the unlabel, but I've got it upstairs as well separately. But here's Defender. And let me just show you the manual for this. I've got two manuals for this that are the same. Wow, okay. And, oh, here's the end label. <laughs> uh, that's how these things are sometimes. Look at that sexy little cover there. Crazy. Looks like a James Bond movie. Um, I remember this game so well. Um, so well. Rescue the, the Humanoids. And gameplay. And uh, Earth's friendship signals beamed into deep space beyond the Milky Way have attracted extraterrestrial beings, all right, but not the ones we expected. That's crazy. Uh, talk about terrifying people. <laughs> Uh, using the scanner. These more popular Atari games, they really went all out. Um, they really made them look nice because these are the big sellers, you know. Um, in the beginning, I'm not sure if it was this nice, but over time, for sure. I think in the past, things were way more basic. They didn't include big manuals like this, you know. But just a great manual, you know. I mean, just to, and I had two in here and the end label down there. I wonder what else is down there. Maybe my sanity. Anyway, my coffee is getting cold, you guys. I've got to have some before I go on. So give me a second here. Let me spruce myself up a bit. Maybe show you some gameplay or something.
Mm. Delicious. Okay. So, okay, we're getting down to some other non-Atari games. I'm going to go ahead and go through all the Atari in this episode, and I will probably do the rest later because there's just so much Atari here. <laughs> I brought some other ones down. So, okay, one more for the 5200. Now, this one's kind of messed up. It's Real Sports Baseball for the 5200. Sorry about that. I got this for like $7, half price. But it's one of the ones in my collection. My collection isn't perfect. A lot of them have tops like that. That's that's what you get when you buy cheap, you know? So here is the cartridge for Real Sports Baseball. I'm not a huge baseball fan, but um, I, I love the 5200 carts. Look how big that is. That's like as big as a Big Mac, like crazy. Real Or what they used to be. Real Sports Baseball. I put the end labels on myself. It says, baseball fans, hang on to your caps. Atari Real Sports Baseball is here with all the strategy, execution, and excitement of a real ball game. Watch the amazing lifelike movements of your players and listen to the umpire's voice calling out the count. The graphics are, and gameplay are so realistic, they'll put you right in the stadium. Uh, in the stadium. So get ready for the pitch. Batter up. 18 game variations. So just going to go over this really quickly. Here's the manual for this. I wanted to show us sports games for the sports games fans out there. You know, you can't really see anything there. Uh, here comes the pitch. Look at that. That's just neat. They made manuals like this for the 5200, mostly. Um, they put so much money into the 5200, as you can see. It's just a shame that it died, you know. They really did. They put tons of money into it. I can just tell. Um, but great manuals that you can't really find anywhere anymore, you know? Um, and this game, um, not, while not at the top of my list at all, um, I'm sure it made a lot of little boys and girls happy that can play baseball on their 5200, you know? So for what it is, real sports baseball, it's, it sits well in the library for sure. My favorite real sports game is real sports volleyball. And I didn't bring that down. I brought this down. Oh, wait, that was on a different system. That was the 2600. The 5200, I also have real sports, uh, baseball and soccer and football. Anyway, so I got three more to go through in this part, and then we'll do this again later, and I'll talk about some of the other ones that I was talking about and showed. So um, we've got, now these I'm not going to open because these are CIB copies. Um, Slime World for the Lynx. Recently, I told my buddy Luke about some Lynx games to play, and he did. Go check out that video for the Ken Hank. Uh, am I saying that right? Ken Hawk? I don't know. Uh, he emulated Lynx games on it, and it worked really well. So I suggested some games for him. I forgot about Slime World. Slime World is a fantastic game.
Look at that. <laughs> I just love it. It's melt or be melted. Now I do have this separately, but th this is an unopened box from 1990. Okay. Uh, you are Todd, the explorer of new worlds. It's your adventure to travel deep in the slime world, the gooeyest, drippiest place around. There are scary blobs to shoot and lots of objects and weapons to find. Link up with up to seven of your fellow slimers for an awesome multiplayer adventure. Up to eight player comlinks capability. <laughs> Down The comlinks connected to link systems together, okay? Um much like the Game Boys had, right, at the time. They were all in competition. My Lynx is way back there, so, like, back here, and I can't get it out, but I don't have time anyway. But um, it's great. Um, this is a, such a fun game. Uh, it's got winners don't use drugs down there on the corner, which they started to do around this time. Put on everything, right? Uh, but just such a great game. It's so fun. It's basically a little platformer. I'll have to show you some video or something. It's great. So another game I love, and people give me flack for this. My friend Luke played this recently and loved it too, so I'm not the only one. It's a Lynx exclusive for the Atari Lynx. It's Kung Fu. I love this game. It's got so much character. Um, you're basically fighting in a freezer. These, be these veggie baddies that have come to life. It's so fun. And a lot of people don't like this game. I actually like it. It's got a lot of character, as I said, and it plays it plays okay, and it's kind of a little beat-em-up. It's really fun. It says here, the ultimate food fight. Mut mutant munchies from your freezer invade your kitchen, your life, and your world. Speed and your martial arts skills are required to overcome the vicious veggies. Uh, 1992. Winners don't use drugs again down there. It's such a fun game. Um, I don't know if you can see any of that. Probably not. But it's a really cool game. I really like it. Kung food. Uh, it's so weird. It's it's definitely it, some people could say it's bad, but it's so bad it's good, right? 
Um, but it's on its own, it's actually a good game. I like it. Um, a lot of character. A lot of the Lynx games had character and great sound and great storyline. And I just love the Lynx games. So thank you so much to Luke for trying that out. He's a fan of the Lynx now, by the way. He loves it. And I hope it's because of me, partially, because I, I want to spread that love out there. It's a great system. Hey, guys. I totally ditched out. Um, I showed two Atari Lynx games and didn't pull out the manuals because I <clears throat> that's the theme of the show right now. <clears throat> or the whole this whole show. But um, I showed you two games that um, I didn't open because they're CIB. I do have them separately, but I just didn't want to open it yet. Yes, I'm one of those people sometimes. Sometimes I'll open games like I've opened Lynx games before Lynx. This is one of the ones I opened, actually. I wanted to show you one one's manual. So this is Hydra for Atari Lynx. It's a really cool um, water shooter, whatever. Um, and I'll show you this one for sure. It says someone has to be a hero, and it might as well be you. In your super advanced speedboat, you must deliver top secret military equipment to various parts of the world. Fame and riches await you, but so do pitfalls and danger. So, 1992, Tengen and Atari. So, let's go ahead and open this one. So, finally get to see a Lynx manual for real. Now, I do have the cart. I just don't have it in here right now. I've got it in my collection back here, um, which I really want to show you. Um... The only problem is, is that they're way back here. So give me one second, let me pull something out for you. Um, oh God, it's way back there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is show you, here's my links actually. Now, I don't have the plug for it right now because I don't have batteries in it, so it's not working. But um, I wanted to show you what the carts look like. Now this is actually a favorite of mine, the Lynx Game Drive by um, by Stone Age Gamer. And um, this is what I put into play every Lynx game, uh, Retro HQ. Now I do own the carts too, but just to show you, it fits in back here like so. And, you know what? Let me put some batteries in this. So you want another reason to buy an Atari Lynx? 16-bit action sports. Great sport. You got NFL football, hockey, basketball, baseball heroes. Now Lynx is just $79.99. Lynx has hot arcade hits, Toki, Steel Talents. We've even got pinball jams. Two great big pinball machines jammed into one incredible car. Hey, for a limited time, Lynx is only $79.99. Over 4,000 colors on the largest portable video screen available. So get your shoes and run to the store. You know you want a Lynx. The most fun you can hold in your hands. Wings by Atari. Okay, so yes, I am going to put batteries in my Atari Lynx because I want to show you the game drive really quickly. And I'm going to actually play... Oh, okay, this takes four 
um, double A batteries, which is not bad. Wait, takes five, takes five. How weird. So five, oh, six. I'm glad I brought six. So guys, this takes, <laughs> these take six AA batteries, okay? And these are new, so I know they work. So let's put this in, and I'm gonna start this up for you. This is the game drive. Um, so here's my Lynx uh, version two, and it's got the Mick Will modded screen. Can't tell right now, but you'll, you'll be able to tell in a minute. So let me just put on Hydra really quickly. Here we go. So this is Hydra, guys, for the Atari Lynx we were just talking about. Really cool game. Um, Hydra is interesting. Um, it's not my top favorite, but it's not bad at all. I've got it on easy, <laughs> and basically, yeah, it's a, um, there we go, basically it's a water shooter, <laughs> um, but it's fun, I really like it, and this, the Mickwell modded screen is bright like that, if you get, if you get these and don't get a modded, or don't have it modded, or whatever, I bought my modded, thank God, but um, then what happens is you get the real faded original screen. It's really hard to see and play. So anyway, out of fuel already. So just wanted to show you that really quickly. Um, anyway, getting back to the Hydra manual. Um, Lynx Hydra, the rivers of death. Enemy thieves are trying to steal the greatest treasures in Hydra. Th these are no ordinary museum pieces. Each of these valuable artifacts hides an important piece of the secret weapon needed to defeat the enemy. So the government issued you an experimental speedboat. You must use this powerful craft to navigate the treacherous rivers of Hydra and collect the treasures from the secret checkpoints before the enemy thieves get them first. If you succeed, you will be a very popular guy. Fail and you'll be all wet. Uh, so it tells you how to play the game. There's not pictures in here at all, from what I can tell. Um, but it also has it in German and stuff. So anyway, um, that's Hydra. A cool game. Now in here you also have the Lynx, uh, the Atari 90 Day Limited Warranty. And let's see, there's something else in here. Oh, I got another copy of Hydra, the manual. How cool. Maybe I could sell one of them. I don't know. <laughs> don't really need to. Um, someone out there does though, right? So anyway, that is Hydra for the Atari Lynx. I wanted to show you an actual Lynx manual. So there you go. More can play at the same time. Lynx has 16 pies. I mean beats. I like Game Boy. Three out of four characters prefer Lynx. Buy Lynx now. Get NFL game free. So, um, also, excuse me, my eyes are red. I've got allergies right now really bad, but I'm okay. I've just got allergies. So, and the last one I'm going to show you is Atari Cards for the Atari Jaguar. Uh, this is a real classic game. Came out on Atari 50 for the first time in emulation, right? And, well, in commercial emulation one to two players jaguar 64 bit now this game is you know it is unfinished probably a little bit it definitely could it needs power-ups you don't really have any power-ups when you're racing but it's basically atari's answer to mario kart right or super mario kart as the case may be uh, or super mario kart 64 or whatever but uh yeah um so out of my way, a go-kart free-for-all. In Atari carts, you'll race around the track with some of the craziest creatures around. Watch out for the objects lying on the road. Some are bonuses that will help you get ahead, but those hazards can be nasty. They'll cause you to slow down or mess with your driving controls. Try to outdistance your competition and finish fourth or better to move on to the next course. Kids of all ages will love this game. 1995. Uh, this game came out at the end of the Jaguar's lifespan, 
And I'm so proud to say I own this in my collection. This is actually a hard game to get. I think it's like $500 in eBay now, right now, which is crazy. I got this for like 100 from a really good friend who was not doing well at the time. And, um, uh, and he was getting rid of some of his stuff. Um, he was doing well physically, just not mentally. And he was kind of moving on with his life in a way. So um, I bought this game from him. Um, cause he was going to sell it on eBay anyway, and he sold it to me for a really good price. So I'm happy to have this in my collection. It is near mint. Um, it's never really been opened or touched barely. I'm almost scared to open it or touch it. So I don't want to open it up <laughs> just because, um, I don't want to ruin the box, you know? Uh, well maybe I'll open it up. I don't know. Maybe I'll open it up. Let's see. Let's see. Here goes Bubba. So, wow. So we opened this up here, and we got the game here, Atari Carts. Um, this even has the paper it still it came in, which is crazy, right? That people collect it this way. It's so cool. Anyway, that's the cart with Bentley Bear. Um, Atari Carts. It could have been so big, right? Um, now, I'm not going to open this, I don't think, but here's the manual for Atari Carts. I love it. Um, it's such a fun game, you know, it's, it's, uh, no, I might open it. I, don't, I might open it. You're, I don't know. I think games are meant to be opened and played. So, you know, this is still collectible. I'm just going to open it because I know someone already has. Atari cart manual here. And when you open it up, um, Jaguar, don't miss out on clothing and stuff. There's Atari carts for the Jaguar 64 bit interactive multimedia system. Uh, contents, introduction. So here come the racers now. Regis has the lead by a beak. Miracle Man is flying round the inside bend in a second. And Bentley Bear is roaring up on the outside in third place. Ms. Triss just picked up a rabbit bonus and swishes into first place with hot competition coming from Firebug, who is scorching up behind her. Pum King is having problems controlling his cart after picking up a reverse steering hazard. He's howling mad because he, uh, he sees another contender breaking through the racers. Yet, the heat is on here at the tracks today. The new contender skillfully avoided the turtle hazard and is keeping the pace going. He just picked up a burst of speed from the speed arrow bonus. And, oh, lucky break, he collected an improved steering bonus from the steering wheel. It's all over now, folks. The newcomer has the lead in the final lap, and the winner is you. Um, now come on in and meet the crazy drivers who round some of the trickiest and slipperiest tracks ever invented. All 11 characters have great driving skills, so you'll need to look carefully at their different talents to pick the one who'll be the best for going you first across the line. That's no easy task on these tracks, where you have marked and unmarked hazards, as well as bonuses and a whole bunch of fun. Uh, really cool game. Um, I definitely wish that it reached its potential. Because I had a lot of potential. Um, but Atari Carts means a lot to me. Um, because um, it was a part of Atari that was dying pretty much right at the time. For like the second or third time at that point probably. And um, it just it had so much potential. They put so much 
love into this manual and into these characters. Um, so this was developed by Miracle Designs. Executive producer was Bill Raybach. Producer was Loic Duval. Um, it's even got the testers in here. The lead tester is Jennifer Vernon. So um, got the warranty and a space for notes, which is funny. Whoever writes in these, and then we have it in French or whatever. But just such a cool game. I'm glad I got to open that and share it with you for the. I think I'm the first time I've ever opened it. So, but I, I know it's been opened before because you could tell it has once. So I'll just seal it back. But fantastic. Um, Atari carts is definitely a huge part of Atari's history. I don't hate on it. Um, yeah, it could be better. But we're also looking at it in the terms of the company being healthy enough to invest more into it, right? But Atari Carts is definitely a classic, and i so glad it's in my collection. I, I love it. So, all right, guys, that's it for my, um, for my Atari stuff. I do have some other stuff down here. As I said, I'll do a second special, probably on Nintendo or something like that. So, um, all right, but this is my special for Atari. Uh, looking at the manuals, um, it's all about dim manuals, y'all. All about dim manuals. God, that sounds stupid. Uh, but anyway, that's the show for right now. Um, thanks so much for watching. Go play some Atari carts. Have a good time with it. I didn't even start Millipede back here. Uh, I meant to start that the whole time. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I wish you guys a fantastic holiday. Uh, be safe. Um, shine your light. Be a good person in the world. And go play some freaking games. And get out of your head for a while. Okay? All right. Have a good one, you guys. See you later. Bye. Thanks for subscribing. It's all about the manuals, manuals.